Long ago, there lived a poor old craftsman named Geppetto, who lived all alone. Geppetto was a very nice man, and he spent his life making toys for children. How I wish I had a child of my own! So, he made a doll from a piece of fresh, soft pine. A blue-winged fairy wanted to reward Geppetto for his good heart. She waved a magic wand and the little puppet came alive. Wow! You are the finest puppet I have ever made. I will call you Pinocchio. After a few days, Geppetto felt that Pinocchio should go to school. So he sold his only coat and bought Pinocchio a school book. To be like a real boy, you must go to school. Now, be on your way. Goodbye, father. On his way, Pinocchio met a sly fox. My friend, real boys don't want school. They want to sail across to Runaway Island, where they can have fun and play all day. Maybe I could sell a ticket for you. But I do not have money with me. You can give me your school book. Pinocchio sold his book happily. He was going to be a real boy and have fun. Suddenly, the blue-winged fairy appeared. Pinocchio, why aren't you going to school? I am on my way to school. And with that big lie, Pinocchio's nose began to grow longer and longer. Pinocchio began to cry. You said a lie, Pinocchio. Whenever you tell a lie, your nose will become big. I'm sorry. I promise to be a good boy and go straight to school. The fairy forgave him. With a sweep of a wand, she got back the old nose. And before leaving, she warned him. Remember one thing, my boy. Runaway Island is not a safe place for children. If you go there, you would become a donkey. But Pinocchio was not ready to listen to her words. Without thinking about his father or the fairy, he went to the Runaway Island. At first, it was a wonderful place to live in. There were games everywhere, sweets, and no one to stop Pinocchio from what he was doing. After a day of fun, he was too tired and he stopped by a lake to rest. He dipped his hand into the water for a drink. He saw his reflection. Oh, that's not me. What has happened to my ears and nose? How did I get this tail? He had grown long ears, long nose, and a tail like a donkey. Somebody help me! Once again, the blue-winged fairy appeared. Foolish puppet! Did I not tell you that Runaway Island is not a safe place? Now go find your poor father who weeps for you. With a wave of a wand, the fairy made the donkey ears, long nose and tail to disappear. She sent him down to the seashore where Pinocchio saw Geppetto drowning. Father, I'm here! Thinking only of his father, Pinocchio jumped into the water and saved his father. Pinocchio, now do you realize that being a real person means loving and caring for others? Your true love for your father has rewarded you. Yes, Pinocchio was not anymore a puppet made of soft pine. 